Hey everybody! So, I told you guys you guys would be able to get like specials on Wednesdays and this is your opportunity to tell me what you guys want to see on Wednesdays um, because I don't know and don't mind my background, it's kind of bland because I haven't really messed around with it when I had to redo everything and I haven't put these in my folders yet so they're just scrambled around. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install mods into your Sims 3 games because I have gotten a lot of people asking me how to install it. So what you do is just go ahead and type in pose player into Google and this is the pose player where you can pose your Sims. And this is just the easiest way of showing you guys what to do. So what you do is the first thing at first is find your Sims 3 um, documents folder. So what you do is for Windows 7 you just hit start and documents and then go into electronical arts and the Sims 3. And I already have a lot of mods installed. So here's all of the mods I have installed. But what you want to do is in this folder, go ahead and type a new folder and name it, um, name it mods. And then in that mods folder, I'm going to name it mods1, just name it mods, like that. But I'm going to put mods1 so it doesn't override my other mods1. But inside the mods folder, you will see these two and I will show you how to get the resource file in just a second but I just want to get you set up with the mods folder so in this folder go ahead and make a new folder and type in packages and in this in this folder that's where you're going to put in your mods so any dot package files is going to go into here but there's going to be there's one more thing that you guys need to get so how I found the resource file was I typed in how to get pose player in Sims 3 and I brought up this video right here and this is one that showed me how to do it but I will have all the information linked in the bottom so you don't have to go to this video or anything like that so you go to the Sims wiki and it'll pop up this installing Sims 3 packages, files, blah, blah, blah. And you'll go down to the resource.cfg name and location question mark. It's like the one, two, three, four, five, sixth one down. Oh, wait, no, the seventh one down. Sorry, you want to go to the resource.cfg contents. So what you do is um, it's probably easiest just to delete because in some cases you will get the resource.cfg file already put in there depending on how you go about but if you go this way you have to manually get the resource.cfg files so you click on this um, skull.modthesims.info slash resource.cfg and I don't have any um, uh, virus software protection program yet on my folder or my computer but trust me it's safe it'll be okay and go ahead and go into your downloads folder and in your downloads folder you'll have this it'll just be resource.cfg it won't be resource.1 because I already have it installed and so what you do is go ahead and right click and copy and then go into your mods folder and just paste it right into here um, me rename it. So this is what the resource.cfg is going to look like in your game or in your um, mods uh, folder. And then you go back into Mod the Sims and you click download. And this is only for creators. So what you want to do is get the C. C. I don't even know what C something whatever. Postplayer.rar and click that and download it. And you will want WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use WinRAR. And there is a free trial. 
so you can go and just Google it. I'll post a link down below, but it'll um, it'll bring up this little package. Go ahead and click Extract Files if you're using WinRAR or whatever. Just do whatever you need to do to pick to unzip it and extract files dot 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 and don't e click extract files here just extract files dot 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 and go ahead and find your documents folder and then click electronical arts sims 3 and in your mods folder go ahead and highlight the packages folder and then click ok and it will automatically paste inside the packages folder so that's how you get um, mods into your game this is the same with any mods so if you go into um, I don't even know how to spell that but if you go into NRAS or whatever and you want to get say the um, air trap uh, mod go ahead and get the base mod for patch level 1.50 and what this um, mod does is really it fixes a lot of errors in your game so click on base mod and go ahead and I don't know what um, oh okay this one is for steam so if you play steam from or um, sims 3 from steam download that one but if you don't go ahead and click download on that and again, it'll show you a zipped file, so go ahead and go into your downloads folder and just extract files and then go libraries, documents, electronical arts, The Sims 3, and then mods and package. And voila, that should work. See? And they're all right there. So that is how you install Sims 3 mods into your game. Very easy. I'll have all the information down below for you guys. So I hope this helped you and I hope you enjoyed this video. And just let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see about The Sims 3 or anything. Just specials for Wednesdays. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Okay, bye everyone.